Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Um, yes, welcome back. I guess. Ah, voice crack. All right. So as you might have seen, uh, it's a bit different than it was before. It's now version 0 0.16. Uh, it's a new update. So this is basically a kind of update video. Z because I'll probably get cut this into pieces depending on how long it will be. So I did actually record for about uh, an hour and a half yesterday I believe but since uh, none of my programs wanted the 1920 times 1080 resolution they didn't want that to work so they just hated me and uh, I had to I have to do this again but it's alright, because I like playing Cobble Space Program and I like doing things for you. So, um, shall we get started? Start game. So I have made a few ships, but I think I can make a new one, hopefully. I am not very good at making them. But first I will go through the new parts. So there are currently, um, new fuel tanks these are like two of those uh, with much larger capacity and they are yeah as you see a lot larger than the other ones so that is something good I suppose uh, there's also like uh, new engines that have more thrust and are a lot larger uh, that go well with these ones and that's kind of like one of those except it's larger and here's like a radial engine that you put on the side like this uh, that you connect to the uh, fuel tank and it works as an extra engine if you want a little more power uh, and don't want it to be like longer yeah I think you understand uh, then we have uh, this it's a solid fuel rocket booster I believe it's called solid fuel booster which is also new which is also a part of this like more robust heavy-duty stuff uh, and yes that's the engines and uh, then uh, hold on over here we have uh, nothing new I think and over here we have a couple of new things uh, well more than a couple we have a decoupler 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 uh, that's just just a bigger one with more force I guess and we have these uh, stability enhancer launch stability enhancers which basically just holds up the ship uh, so that it doesn't break under its own weight while before launch and an aerodynamic nose cone which fits to that one um, and uh, these radial decouplers which is just larger these ones and they're a bit closer as well so it's quite dangerous to use them if you're not careful because it might mean they're your demise if you're not careful nothing new here here we have a few new things. So we have these uh, things that I will uh, show you later what they are for because I don't want to ruin the surprise if you do not know already. Um, let's just put them here. I think that's good. And let's put a few here as well. Yep, that's good. Alright, uh, then we... You can actually put the para parachutes like this now. I don't know if you could do that before, but... I think it actually might help to have like two or three parachutes, but... It's alright with one. And there's also new parachutes. Uh, that's a bit larger, I believe. Double-sized, yeah. So it's, it's also made for uh, this 
large setup, uh, and these are these are just large versions, like ladders, of this. Then there's also a new uh, landing strut that's telescopic, which is quite nice uh, because they, yeah, they're also for this robust. Nothing new here. So let's build a spacecraft, shall we? not very pretty but it's uh, helpful wait can't have it there oh shit so uh, like so should be good alright let's name it uh, the Dave machine Because that was the first thing that came to my head. All right. Um, save it for now and continue down. So now I don't know if this is like the optimal design, but I'm not very good at these things, so I just try to do my best really holy shit um, it's not always the best but I try and that's what counts isn't it I think I want another stage Let's do it like that instead. Uh, don't know if that's the most good way to do it, but I want something like uh, nimble to move around in outer space with. That's not like a giant fucking thing, if you know what I mean. So. Yeah, but I don't want to use my landing uh, thing for that. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, all right. No, I I do really want. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Can't do it like that. There we are. That's not the most. Uh, oh shit! That does not look very stable. But I think I can. I think we can manage. Um. So now we need some stabilization. Uh. Agent, <laughs> I guess you could call it, and well, 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 what more should we need? I am not very certain, to be honest with you. Um, hmm. yes, no, <laughs> all right, let's just uh, do some of these things now. Yeah, there's also like uh, engineers and scientists running about the place, and these guys. 
Uh, that's new as well. Very good, very good. Now if you have a better design you're more than welcome to leave a comment because I have a feeling this might not be the most optimal design. Come on! No lollygagging! That should do. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out shall we? So far so good, it's a bit loud but that I can change in uh, post-production so you won't notice a thing. Well not post-production, oh well yes post-production. Uh, it's not as wobbly as I expected it to be. Uh, that's good. Although I do fear that it might get a bit wobbly later on the process but I do have the SAS until the last stage which is, which is preferable and I don't have so much RCS fuel so I really have to save that I don't use it unless I really have to I'm climbing good uh, a little bit too slow but I guess it's good I mean, I've I've gotten into orbit on uh, slower rockets. Mm. There we are. All right, uh, last fuel tank. Then I might as well turn a little bit to use the momentum from these figures. Well, not the momentum. I don't know what to call it. Just. Just leave me alone. I'm an old man. I don't know what to call it. A nightly launch. I didn't even notice until now. 